Hey, I got uh, some divers that recovered a few guns and several cell phones, a laptop, and two wallets. Driving around the country in this RV, hauling a trailer filled with their dive gear, searching muddy lakes and rivers, looking for missing people. The team stopped here in Fulton County after a tip about a car in the Chattahoochee River. They didn't find a car, but found plenty of phones and guns. I don't know if we're gonna have anything here. We're like on the outskirts of Atlanta right now. I think there might be a couple of stolen cars in the river here. Uh, yeah, there's a pretty good chance. Uh, let's get the sonar <laughs> in the water, and I'm gonna say four cars in here today. Four? What do you think? Three. Let's go find out. One, two. So what, what are you guys uh, doing today? So uh, we're throwing sonar. some sonar on. We got a tip that there might be a car or two in the river at this okay. location. Yeah. So we have a team of divers. Uh, Adventures of Purpose. Well, I'll do my due diligence. Uh, whoever's going in the boat, do you guys have uh, 100%. a... 100%. Yep. We'll awesome, yep. awesome. Are you going to put a motor on it or just paddle? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yep. Is it registered? So we're out of Oregon is where okay. we're out of. Uh, in Georgia, you have to have, like I said, explained to you before, you have to have it registered before you put on the river. Okay. So obviously, you won't be able to get your stickers and your decals and all that today because you're going to be here for what, one day? Yeah. So this number right here, you can call that. Okay. Uh, has to Calling have the No Outdoors Georgia. You do not have a registration. Register a boat or vessel. Press three. So I appreciate your time today. You've been uh, really, really sweet to us. <laughs> Jared, you have a great day and good luck with everything. Thanks, bye bye. Yeah, we're legal. Yeah, we did it. Uh huh. On the water we go. So we're casting currently here, we're casting roughly 30 feet out left. 30 feet right from this. And so you can see like seven foot segments. If anything though, this is a near Atlanta. Whoa, wait a minute. What's that right there on the left? Oh, the, never mind. That's a bridge pillar. Yeah, we're close to Atlanta. And this river with the Chattahoochee. Chatt Chatt yeah, right. Chattahoochee. Yeah. Chattahoochee. Civil War. And a lot of crime down here. Sam, I think we might have a car by the bridge. By the bridge. All right, we gotta get uh, back. Let's go check it out and see it's a different it's a angle. Stay. Yep. All right, so, because we hit on that before we hit the pillar. So it's on the other side, just down from there. So I wouldn't even say it was like 30 feet before we got to the pillar. Right now we're about 50 feet from the pillar. No, right, right here. Right there. Actually, we have two. I think yeah, we have yeah, two. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Look, uh, that's one, I, two. I pointed to the one and then the other. I was wondering if that was the pillar. And then that, this is the pillar over here. So you got the pillar on both sides? No, no. The other pillar's gonna be over there. We're not shooting 40 feet for that one. This, this was right in the middle, right by yeah, us. Yeah, that's true. So we have two possible. I want to hit them at different angles. I mean, yeah. I want to say that they're cars because we're looking for cars, but they could possibly not be cars. And they're both so, the exact same shape. That's yeah. also weird to me. Yeah. So they may not be cars. I want them to be cars. I want them to be cars too. Yeah, it could, it could be old bridge. Bummer. Not a thing. Not huh? a car, but what we do have down there, Nug? Is not just the new bridge there, but can you see the uh, pilings for the old bridge? I can't, but there's no bridge remains. There's no old bridge. So you have a you have a super old bridge that used to be here. I say we're diving anyway. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's this go is. see what we can find. Yeah, absolutely. Sir. Well, two of us are all suited up, ready to get in the water. So be sure to check out Exploring with Doug, who is the gun 
whisperer. The gun, new, new hashtag, the gun whisperer. The gun whisperer. <laughs> and with this bridge, the new bridge, the old bridge, give us your take on this one today, Nug. Well, it's anybody's guess with the new bridge, because people could throw stuff off at any given time. The old bridge, depending on when it came down, there's going to be a time stamp on all of it. So I'm going to go have a little bit of fun. Unfortunately, as you all already know, there are no cars in here, but we're still going to find something worthwhile. Hopefully, if we uh, have enough sign out, the river is only about 10 feet at the max. So well, let's just go 15 feet on this. There we go, and that should keep us nice and visible. But no boat will run us over. All right, let's go see what we can find. All right, so far I can't see a dang thing. We gotta get out here a little bit further. There we go, now we're into the main current. Now we can see over here. Main thing we wanna do though is get down to the bridge. Really search. I should have brought an anchor with me. Nice little hike back up too. Alright, let's go across to the middle a little bit. Right, what I'm looking for is a nice little eddy that we can sink into. So far we're not sinking into, into anything here. Alright, dropping into a hole here. Here's a nice little eddy. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. I think I got my buoy stuck up above. No, okay, buoy's good. That nice uh, bedrock bottom. So if you see where like the sand ends here, and then you come around here and you have just the bedrock here, this is a good place to find hidden treasures and gems. Oh, is that gold in there? Oh, look at that gold! Woo! Wow, I wish I had a gold catcher. Look at all that gold. There's gold there, gold there. Holy moly, I found a mother load of gold in here. Look, there's a nugget in there. I just don't know if I can pick it up. My gloves are too uh, thick. I'm gonna take my glove off. A couple things I'm gonna run into. One is, my ring falls off when it's cold. Don't wanna lose that. And the next thing is, let's put this glove in the bag. Let's not lose that one. Second part of this equation, take this glove off. This is my catch bag for these little nuggets that I'm finding. Okay, gold nugget. Nugget, thank you. I see people that use this underwater. They have like a little gold catcher. Alright, oh anyway, we'll take those, we'll analyze them, see if the boys make fun of me or not. On that note, let's go find some more stuff. Whoa, did we find it? Is that a gun? I don't know. Nope, I don't think that's a gun. What is this? No idea. Almost like a Gatling gun. Transmission, maybe? Okay, what is this? I do what that is. Oh, there's a gun right there. Ah. We found a gun. There it is. I still have problems with all my line over here, though. I got my line all over the place. I might just have to ditch my line. I knew one because it's tangled up everywhere. Like this is getting dangerous. It really sucks I lost the dive flag. It is what it is. Part of the game, I guess. Let's head on over. 
We're about to be close to the shore because most of the uh, current died down. So we're making our way up the bank. The reason why we're going to the bank and not in the middle of the river is because I lost my buoy. Boat comes by, I don't want a boat to hit me in the head. Surfacing. It was a dive like I haven't done in a while. <laughs> a lot of current. I had to do a nice little hike back up here. Yeah. Downstream. Listen, I had to take my gloves off so I could put the gold in there. I don't think I did a very good job with it. No. I don't know which glove it was in. Well. But it's like actual gold. I'm gonna say it's gold. Like those like gimmicky things that have gold, the little glass no. bottles? No, it looked like real gold, <laughs> all right? I'm down there and that's why I took my gloves off so I could start picking it up, but I didn't have any like gold collectors. Huh. So I like started putting it all in here, but then the current was blowing so bad and it looks like these got turned around in there that it washed all my gold. Like I probably had like at least $73,000 worth of gold in. <laughs> Did you find anything else or is that all? Oh no, I found something else. Oh? I'm so excited about the other thing I found. We're gonna have to call the cops. It's a nice slow reveal, okay? See that? Slow. The magazine is still in there. The serial numbers are still on there. Actually, I think they're still on there. I can't tell if they're actually scratched off or not. It almost looks like they're scratched off there. Hmm. So we may have to like clean this up a, a little bit for the cop or let him clean it up. And just for the record, also, like fingerprints, okay? After it has been underwater that long, okay? Fingerprints are not going to, I, should, I probably shouldn't be telling off criminals this, right? Your fingerprints after a certain number, uh, a certain period of time underwater will not actually stick to the gun. So, I'm not too worried about my fingerprints being on there. Just for the record. He's acting like he was dragging something really heavy. Yeah, yeah, he did is. You see Let's that? see what he got. He was like grunting. Okay, first of all, what did you find? What did I find? Yeah, did you find something? Yeah, you act you act like you beat what I found. I don't know, mate. I mean, you found like, what, a nine? Yeah, no, it's a 40. You found a 40 caliber? I think so, yeah. Well, I will see your 40 caliber. Yeah? And raise you a fully automatic. Raining out here. Sam's getting a little bit wet. But I say that right now is a good time for today's episode sponsor. With you getting wet, I'm staying dry, and the reason why I'm staying dry is because I'm in an O3 custom dry suit. That's right. Check it out. It's an O3 custom dry suit where I am not getting wet at all. But I am. Yes. If you are a diver in the market for a dry suit, a dry suit of any kind, whether it's off the shelf or a custom dry suit, check out O3 custom dry suits because they are taking care of us. So thank you O3 for supporting us. Be sure to check out the link in the description if you need yourself a dry suit. Or, you know what, they also carry wetsuits, hoods, gloves, whatever you need in the way of, you know, protection yes. like that. Check out O3. A fully automatic AR. No! <laughs> oh yeah. Is it nuts? Wow. I actually think, it says SR15. And it has a switch on the side that goes semi to fully. I don't know if that's just for SR show. SR or is an AR? It says SR15. Really? I've never heard of it. Does Brit have anything? Oh, yeah, we're not done yet. Yeah. Wow, look at yours. Got himself a shotgun. I like that. You're a gun guy though. This is an SR15, what is that? A knockoff version of the AR. Oh, it's not even a real AR. Boo, it's a 22 or something. AR I found a... Now, Somebody's man. wallet. Oh, nice. It looks like a lady's wallet. Money? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I found somebody's shoes. I didn't uh, want to dig down any further. Were feet in them? It's sticking up. There's some bags down there, man. Were they attached to? I don't know. And I'll suit up. Dick. Nick Nick has all types of incredible finds. Yeah, he found a uh, lady's purse. Uh -huh. You got it? Yep. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Look at that. Oh yeah. There's there's cards in here. Oh, we got Visa cards. Oh, there's some. There's. So you guys remember the rules, right? Yeah, we split. We split. Half season. <laughs> He's not here. Nick's not here. Nick's not so here. He so he missed out. Even though he found he it. He doesn't get it. <laughs> Even though he found it, he doesn't get his. Uh, <laughs> doesn't get his. Oh, oh my what? goodness, what? guys! Let me see. Jay, there's like a whole lot of nothing here. Oh, <laughs> dude, you just made me shiver a little bit. Yeah. So I had a pretty crazy discovery while I was in the river. Well, first off, for. First off, we'll get this casual find out of the way. Yeah, that is insane. And okay, I pulled up a trash bag first, right? 
Huh? Pulled out this laptop. Nice. Oh yeah, that's great. A bunch All right, of phones. You, we got the green bag. I heard somebody say 50 phones. 50. Count 50 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 phones. In one bag. That's a In wide variety of phones for one <laughs> bag. Yeah, as soon as they get up, if we have an answer of a body or not, we gotta call the cops for those uh, guns regardless. Okay. Nothing. But we couldn't even make it across. We, ma we made it across. Yeah, so that was a different river. You could not make it across. <laughs> this thing sped way up. No, it's, it's still moving the same. Huh? Okay, I'll make the call. Yeah, yeah, make the call for uh, PD. Well, I just got the phone. Uh, with the game warden that was here earlier, I was talking to you guys, Yeah. and uh, apparently Fulton County got in touch with them, and they want to pass it off on them, since technically these were found in the river, which is their jurisdiction, and he just said he don't want them, so he's going to call them back, try to get a call oh, back man. and get them. So, man, worst case scenario, man, we got some new guns we get to clean up. <laughs> oh, wow. That's wild. I mean, this is definitely stolen. That's stolen. Yeah, I'm sure that didn't fall out of a fishing boat. No, yeah, we're not. <laughs> no. Uh, He's got to do some duck hunting. Yeah, right? some pirates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's about time. Wow, I didn't think this day was ever going to happen. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the party. Hey, how's it going? Good, how about you? Good, good. We got a couple of guns for you. Okay. A couple of burner phones. Every agency seems to want to pass it off to the other agency, so... <laughs> Somehow you got the short straw and you are here now. I'm here? Yes. Um, let me see what, let me see what you got. Yeah, absolutely. Come check it out. So at this point in time, uh, not a whole lot more to report. We're going to let these were together. Dan Dan, the uh, cameraman, so jump back in the RV so that way he can do his thing. Um, Thank you for hanging out with us so with another so episode of Adventures with a Purpose. Killer, if you've not already done so, make sure to subscribe. That way you'll get an instant notice anytime we upload another video like this. We'll see you next time. Later, later. Bye-bye.